I'm back, mother truckers. You guys ready? This is episode 13, I do believe. And I think the first thing we're doing is heading to Muse, right? We have to do that strap battle? Who do we talk to? Apple. Okay, fair enough. Let's go to Muse. Yes, I think it's worth a try. <clears throat> Tutum will be a general, with Hauser as his lieutenant. Your strategist will be Apple, with Klaus as her second in command. With that as your base, it should be easy to attack Muse. General Kaiba and I will stay here. After all, if this place falls, the Rando army will have nowhere to go back to. Apple, every lie contains truth, and every truth contains a lie. Remember that. Yes, shoot. Actually, I don't remember if this is a strategy battle. I think it is, yeah. Strategy battle, and then we make our way into Muse. Much longer is it gonna last this war? Are you sick of it? I guess so, but I've got to see it through to the end. What kind of man an answer is this country going to get from them? Of course, but it's all I've got. Please, Lady Teresa, use this. Thank you. She means the room. Originally, Green Hill had almost no military force. Instead of fighting, we used hidden places like this. But the townspeople cooperate with us as much as they can. Lord Teuton, it's going to take some time to rest the men and work on the details of our strategy. You should get some rest, too. Right, let's walk around a little. Last time, the Highland soldiers were everywhere, and there were places I couldn't see. Don't think we have to run around. I think this is kind of the game's way of saying, like, yeah, you can go and recruit Pico or whatever. It's her. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two-tone, let's go after her. That's the one. The one that attacked Two-tone. Get back here, Lucia. You're too fast. Ding. Yeah, I've only got me and Nanami, so... Because I did not make a team. <laughs> Run! For some reason, I thought we were going into a strap battle, so I didn't, didn't think to make a team there. Joey! Thank you, Lady Lucia. You can go home now. Forgive me, sir, but I'd like to stay to protect you. Sorry. Joey, why, why are you here? Nanami, Two-Tone, as your friend, I have a request. Quit as leader of the Rando army and run away somewhere. Here we go again with this shit. I don't want to fight you. Aunt. Why? There's no reason for you to be leader of the Rando army. Two-tone is... I know, I've got it. Joey can leave Highland. I can't do that. I see, so that's how it is. Just as I can't turn back, you can't turn back either. Too much time has passed. Neither of us can go back to the way things were. Hey, Joey, you're king of Highland, right? So you can stop the war and take your troops out of Muse. That will end this, right? So that'll solve that. That won't work, Minami. Why? Dude, ever since we got these runes on our hands, we were destined to fight each other. But even if that's our destiny, I'd, I'd still like to think that we can each gain something from this. King of Highland, I'm going to fight to bring a new order to this land. Goodbye, Two-Tone, Nanami. Wait, it can be like it used to be. We can still be together, please. To protect the king, I can't let you pass here. No! Yeah, he's gone. If there was any... Uh, if anyone was wondering whether or not Joey is totally committed to this crazy plan of his, he, he is now. Put all those fears to rest. Joey is a bad person. In my opinion, don't crucify me. <laughs> if you like Joey, that is. <laughs> and if you like Joey, I want a good reason why. Tell me in the comments if you like Joey. I'll be very surprised if anyone does. <laughs> Let's 
go. I see it, it's Muse. Feels like years since I've been here. It's strange that we haven't met any enemy resistance yet. Don't drop your guard. Counting on you, Lady Lucia. My king, by my word, we shall cleanse ourselves of the stain of defeat. Everyone listen, remember your oath as warriors. Our survival as a tribe depends on this. Back in the name of the Correa, we mustn't lose. Alright, so... This is a battle we can actually lose, I do believe, yes. There's the old Lucia again. Alright, so... I didn't mess with any of my teams, either, which is a shame. But we got George now, and he's got flight! We need to make room for Luke. Let's move... crap. Move you up here. Move Luke up here. Uh, Boris is looking. Boris's team is looking good too. Victor right here. Boris had a move up there. Had this team is a nice wall, of course. And uh, Teresa, why not? Move my team up. Maximilian's team is not the greatest. Good enough. See how this works out for us. All day coming. All right, Georgian, get him. Yes. You really gonna mess with George Prime, dude? I know you got a death wish. Can I bombard from here? I don't think so. Oh, I keep forgetting that Ada doesn't have the bard. <laughs> Thinking of Teresa. Still can't get an attack in there. Max, you need to go up here. Victor here. Horus. Let's go up. That's good enough. Oh, afraid to attack George, are you? Do not blame you. Let's go, Luke. That's right. I don't want to see another shabby performance like Green Hill, dude. You need to hit stuff. Oh, George. Go play, Fury. Go play, buddy. Okay, I don't really have anybody else that can do much. I guess you can wait there. Yeah, Boris's team got locked into where it is because of my need to use Luke. Let's just let him close in on us. He can withdraw any time. Having Lucia retreat? Frontier People's Army will strike first. We can lose some time. Achieve ultimate victory, we must not sacrifice large gains for small ones. Lady Lucy understands this. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's right. They withdraw and leave her alone with us. The Royal Army is retreating. Yeah, they betrayed you. Once I foolishly thought you only a pretty face, but now I see you have the strength of your father. I'll follow you anywhere. Listen to me, you cannot die for the future of Korea. Oh, George. What happened, buddy? Yeah. Oh, 
Well, Fury, you being on my lap is a pain, dude. You gotta not lap time right now. Hold on, I got kitty cat removal phase 29 and a half. Hold on one second. Come on, buddy. Come on. You gotta chill out. <laughs> the Korans are like, they're not attacking. Lady Lucia, why? Why are they just standing still? And she's like, kitty cat removal. And, oh, yeah, okay, of course. Yeah, yeah hold off the war for now. <laughs> All right, here we are. So, um, let's see. George, I'm scared for your life. Um, let's see. Right shield will not reach George. Ah, you know what though? It will if I do this. I'll go. Oh, I should have attacked with Victor first in case he got hurt. And he did. Ding dang dang it. Well that figures. We'll get Flick up here. Oh, he's an archer unit. What am I doing? Okay, kitty cat removal messed me up. <laughs> uh, I can encourage, I guess. Is that worth it? Yeah, sure. Freeze up Kaiba. Don't know if I want him going up there. Um, not sure. His defense is good enough, I think. George, though, is gonna have to just sit. There his team can go. Alright, let's just see what happens. Went after Kaiba, huh? Alright. Just two guys punch each other in the face at the same time. Oh, nice flick. Archer unit, my butt. Bang. How did he take a damage? It didn't look like he took... Oh, shit. He's out. Is there anybody on his team that could die? Oh, wait. He's got heavy armor because of frickin' uh, Humphrey, so he can take three swords. Hell yeah. Okay, well, you're going up here. <laughs> Because this is dangerous. I can't reach with wind magic. Alright. <laughs> Bless me. It's just me and you now, Lucia. Fairly certain as if, if I just get a unit in... Uh, Muse, we just win, but we can try and beat her. Ah, of course, Luke, she's your demon. <laughs> you will never be able to hit her. <laughs> Ada? Oh. Alright, we're just gonna wait. Attacking Kaiba again. <coughs> that time Kaiba got her. Nice, dude. Alright, George, you get another chance. Alright, no critical. You know who would have criticaled? Ridley. Come on, Luke. Luke is in the, uh, the mode of running toward Muse, but still trying to get this hit. Okay, cool, he got it. So... We defeated her before we got to Muse. Nice. I must flee. Sorry, Beecham. You get to meet Beecham in Zakoden 3, by the way. They ran away with their tails tucked between their legs. Is that right? Something seems odd. I think you might be right. You're the one worrying type too, huh, Klaus? Well, let's enter Muse and take a look. 
Careful, there might still be some Highland soldiers lurking around. I know. Alright, Victor is going to go in our convoy. And we're going to pick our party members. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot we have to drop Vicky. We'll keep her for this, uh, this part. And then we'll, uh, we'll drop her afterwards. <laughs> Level 99, George. Yeah, that's a little too busted, buddy. Uh, do -do 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 -do. What team were we using here? Uh, who did we have? All oh, right, we had Nina, right? Yeah. And was it Wakaba we were using still? Um. Yeah, I suppose for Wakaba. Bam, bam. Yeah, let's go. Stuff about to go down in Muse. You guys know nothing good ever happens in Muse. <laughs> yeah, they're not up there. That's right. They're in the uh, mayoral hall. Done? What is it? No, I thought I saw something inside, like a shadow moving, maybe. What should we do? Do you want to go inside? Or Strive just put one nail in, but I just can't leave this kind of thing alone. Now let's go. <coughs> Bad news bears. A monster! Help! What is it? Yeah, what the hell is it? Frickin' gold wolf. Family attack. Attack. Guardian Earth. J uh, yeah, Judgment. Final bell. Let's go. Family attack. Me and my sis. Beating up dogs. Giant golden Shiros. That's gonna hurt. Okay, it wasn't too bad. You leave Nina alone. That one hurt. Dang. Sorry, Nina. Lorelai will get... Oh, wait, she did uh, find the bell. I was going to say, she'll get some HP back, but I do steal her souls. <laughs> well, we have Guardian Earth out now. Vicky can at least do that with no trouble. I've not seen her fail that one yet. Judgment. That <laughs> talking just roared at the demons, like, don't touch me! I'm a good boy. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, we're good on HP for now, I think. Uh, Vicky, you're not doing anything else. Uh, Black Shadow. And we'll do Stealer Souls with you just to get some HP back, Lorelai. Ah, Nanami. Really? Fine. That's gonna hurt. So yeah, next next turn we'll definitely want to do a shield rune of some kind. Kit. Gold Wolf is doing in Muse, man. That's weird. <coughs> Hell is this thing? Ah. <coughs> Damn. I'm coughing a lot. Yeah, they're everywhere. Damn, let's run. Yeah, we'll 
you can go and fight more of them, but there's really no benefit to it. You okay, Two-Tone? Yeah, I'm fine. What's that? That family. They're servants of the Beast Rune. Remember the Beast Rune? That, uh, was on the floor at, uh, the ceremony for Joey and Jillia? Yeah. Beast Rune? Yes, I heard it was passed down from High Priest Sasurai to the Blight Clan when Highland divided from the Holy Kingdom of Armonia. Did you get all that? They've become servants, slaves to that rune. The Luka Blight sacrificed all those all the people of Muse. So that thing really does exist, eh? The beast rune can only be awakened with a blood sacrifice. What happens if it wakes up? Well, if it's been woken up, I guess it might manifest itself as a huge bloodthirsty demon. But I think the rune itself was carried off somewhere. I don't sense its power anymore. We're too done. It's terrible. Those Highland soldiers are back. And what's going on now? Looks like they're waiting for this moment. They're attacking from the north and east. We'll have to escape to the west. Okay, let's hurry. Wait, it's a trick. They're attacking in small numbers? I bet soldiers are lying in ambush to the west and south. General Hauser, get your troops together and attack north. Thrust right into the center of, that atta of the attackers and then retreat. There won't be any soldiers waiting to ambush you there. I understand. Hurry and get away, Two-Tone. Apple makes good strategy decisions. Oh, Two-Tone, I'm glad you're safe. But now we're in trouble. We couldn't retake Muse. Now we're out of options. I'm sure we'll have plenty of good ideas by tomorrow. Don't worry too much, Two-Tone. Go get, get some good food and rest. You always do. All right, so we did that part. I'm sure there's other things that we can do now. <laughs> Maybe Vincent will be where I think he is now. Hey, Richmond. <coughs> Man, I got a freaking th frog in my throat tonight. <clears throat> she tries hard at everything she does. She borrowed a jigsaw puzzle from a friend and worked on it all night. She got so frustrated that she finally busted it up. <laughs> it sounds like her. <laughs> <laughs> Any more Wakaba secrets, or is that it? That's it. Okay. So then I get to make the decision on who we investigate next, huh? Um. Do 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 do. We can't do Ridley. How about Leona? Let's figure some stuff out about her. Alright, I really hope... Okay, I, I gotta go up here. I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna go down. And see if Vicky can teleport us anywhere near Muse. I swear, I need to be able to get near Muse. We have to unload these gold bars, dude. And I don't know of anywhere else that they sell well besides Highway Village. You gotta let me go to Muse. Dang it. Alright, well let's see if they if we can get through Toto Village. Probably not. Gonna be a Highland soldier up here like, you can't come this way. I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, this freaking a-hole. Fine. Nowhere else we can sell the gold bars either. That's what really sucks. Alright, let's go up to the Great Hall and see what's popping. I'm almost certain that Vincent won't be at Raddit yet. Let's go check it out. And if he's there, we'll come back and get Simone. I just remember that this, like, this moment of the game is usually where I get, um, <clears throat> all the characters recruited. This is, like, close to the- yep, there he is. Devers. Okay, well, I have to go get Samoan, though. Maybe. Maybe not. Join my group. 
I'm sorry, I've ends and I'm searching for my friend, although it would be my honor to help a brave person like yourself. One must not betray the spirit of friendship, eh? Well, farewell. Okay, so now we can go and get Simone. And we can come back and get Vincent. <laughs> that tells me I can recruit every single character in the game right now, except Gordon, because I need to sell gold bars. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Come on, Simone. Don't get excited. You're only on my team for Vincent's sake. <laughs> oh, Reddit. What am I doing? So we're going to get Vincent now. He's going to be taken care of. We've got two characters back close to Greg Minster that we have to get. And Gordon and Greg Minster. Character in the Cave of Wind. We have Mazes. <laughs> Makes my heart sore like an eagle to see your face again. I'm overflowing with joy. I was worried about you, Simone. Hey, what happened? Sorry, Vincent, my friend. I cannot look you in the face. What are you saying, Simone? The rose brooch that you gave me as a sign of our friendship. I'm afraid I lost it. Even though Lord Tutum found it for me, I feel as though I betrayed our friendship. No, no, no. What are you saying? Please, look this way. I can't do that, Vincent. I'm so... Simone, the rose brooch is just a trinket, but our friendship is what is truly precious, no? You're the greatest friend I've ever had. But of course. Well, there you go. <laughs> Vincent, my friend, let me introduce you to my friend Lord Tutum. Pleased to meet you, Lord Tutu. A friend of Simone is a friend of mine. That's it. I'm helping out the Rando army now. Of course, you could also. But of course, Simone. Well, Lord Tutu, shall we go? We walked on the path of honor. We got Vincent on our team now, for better or worse. <laughs> Alright. That taken care of. Let's get back to the castle. There can't... Hmm. Is there anywhere else that we can sell gold bars? Hmm. Don't think South Window wants them. Don't think Two River wants them. Eh, maybe Two River wants them, actually. I haven't checked that. Do they even have a trade shop in this town? That's a dang good question. I don't remember. If it is, it's tucked away somewhere I never look. Is it in the winger area? Maybe. They only ever they only have an item shop, right? Uh, this is a, that's not it. I don't think it's in the Kobold District, right? Well, it's definitely not in the Wingers. <laughs> I know there's one in Rakaku. But I don't think that that will actually... That I can actually sell gold bars there. There's no training place up here, right? No, that's just the training area. I wish you were Ridley. Alright, yeah, okay, so... Forest Village has a trade shop, right? I don't think they'll... Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> There's one. You're not taking gold bars, though, are you? I know my luck. Yeah, no. I got nothing else to sell to you. <sighs> Alright, fine. 
I doubt if I could sell them back to Tainto for enough money, right? I bought them there. <clears throat> it doesn't hurt to check. Let's go to Crom Village. I'm interested. I seriously doubt that we'd make much of a profit selling them back to the place we bought them from, but we also tanked the market by buying all of them, so who knows. No, I'd only get 9,000 in profit. That is not enough. It's almost enough. 40,000, about there, so yeah. If I would have had one more gold bar, it would have been perfect. <laughs> or close to perfect, I should say. Alright, I guess we just gotta keep going with the game until we get to a point where we can either go near Muse or and use the Matilda trick or go to Highway Village. But going to Highway Village now is probably better if we can manage it. But we can't. <laughs> oh, they want me to rest, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember this part. Colonel Kaiba, I have a great favor to ask of you. Listening. Next battle will most likely determine the outcome of the war. If we hope to win, we're going to have to take a gamble. It will be a hard battle. Island and the Rando army continue to glare at each other from across the divide of the Great Lake. And although the Matilda Knightdom has surrendered, the area is still unstable and the Highland army can't pull their forces away. They're saying that even if we take the gamble, we can't defeat the Matilda, so then what do you? I want you to take a regiment to attack Victor's old fort east of Meuse. Even if Highland realizes it's a decoy, they'll have to defy their army to defend the Highland Kingdom from you. They'll probably call upon Leon Silverberg to do it. Kaiba knows what that means. Lord Chu, since my defeat, I feel I've lost my place in this world. But when I see Lord Tutum, I see his charm with people and tra transcend this war. It may be appropriate for a gen inappropriate for a general, but it makes me believe in miracles. Lord Chu, I don't need your men. The soldiers who have followed me from Highland will be enough. Thank you, General Kaiba. Lord Chu, it is not like you to bow to the likes of me. Please take care of my son. Under your tutelage, he will become a brilliant strategist. Kaiba knows what's going to happen. Lord Tutone, I've formed a new strategy. This fight will be the decisive battle between the Rando Army and Highland. The forces behind this war are about to reach their limit. The winners will win everything, the losers will lose everything. Both the state and Highland will be betting their existence on this battle. You have two choices. One is to stay the course. This is the easy road, but it is the path to defeat. The other is to fight for victory for all. This is a thorny path, but it is the path of kings. I wait your decision, Lord Tutone. Well, if I say I can't, not yet, that just means I get to save, right? Let's just, we'll fight. Understand. Assemble everyone in the meeting room. Listen carefully, everyone. Now that Highland has taken Matilda, their army number is 55,000 men. Ours is a mere 25,000 or so. If we meet them head on, we will likely be crushed. This is not... Wait a minute. I need to check something. I need to check something. Um... Do -do 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 -do. Ah, I see. So, we cannot continue this. I have to reset before this part. I thought so. So the problem is, if we continue right now, we don't get the bonus for the 108 stars of destiny. 
we would have to have every character recruited first in this part, at this part, like right before we invade Matilda. So I have to go back to the save point that I had before I tried to go to bed and ran into Lord Shu. So that means that we have to somehow get, um, we have to somehow get Gordon before that. Hey, letters. Thank you for saving bread. I'll take good care of him, I promise. You better, he's cute as hell. Strike truly with your sword, you must strike truly with your mind. Thanks, Kenshu. For two tone as a knight in the service of justice and good, I vow to aid you in any way I can, Maximilian. How is my Lord Two-Tone feeling? Why don't you take a vacation and rest your spirit for a bit, Victor? I am going to do just that. After I check and see where else we can sell gold bars. Okay. I confirmed it. We can actually sell uh, gold bars in Rakaku. And we need to go there for a couple of characters anyway. So, that is convenient. We will be able to get Gordon, I do believe, before the invasion of Matilda. So this is our last recruitment drive, everybody. So let's pop Luke on the team, because he's going to be who we have instead of Vicky now. He's got a low uh, level compared to her, but it's okay. team now, which means we gotta go take, uh, well, let's check our runes here real quick in our storage. We got nothing good for you. Okay, that's cool, because we have, um, the blue gate rune that I can take off of Lorelei, and she can just hang on to darkness. That sounds about right. Kia. Attach. Oh, we had a blue gate. <laughs> All right. Luke, there you go. And we'll put this flowing on Lorelei too, because she can be a backup healer, actually. That'd be pretty neat. Nice. Kaba, you have another... Yeah, we can give you the double strike, Rune. Let you do some killer damage. Screw it, man. There we go. Have that. Alright. So now we can make our trip to Rikaku. That's the first time that you guys will have seen Rikaku, actually. Oh, this way. Because uh, I never visited there. There are two characters we can get right now there, and we'll be able to get Gordon thanks to uh, Rikaku buying gold bars. But that means we have to go to Banner Village and take our little walk all the way back to Gregminster again. Sorry if you guys get sick of this walk, but it has to be done for a multitude of reasons. You have to make this walk many times if you want to get everything in the game. Now we could pick uh, McDole back up, but it doesn't. it's not really going to benefit us because he'll t be taken off the team pretty much immediately when we move on to the next part of the game. We'd have to just come back anyway. Which is not optimal.
We haven't gotten attacked once yet. Oh, Luke's freaking champion's rune. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot all about it. Here we go. Hidden Ninja Village down here. Well, hopefully buy my gold bars. I swear to God, if that was bad information I saw online, I'm going to be upset. I could swear they could buy them anyway. A spy! You expect me to believe you just accidentally stumbled across a town as well hidden as Rikaku? What's your business here? Ask for his help. You came here on purpose? You knew just where to find our legendary ninja enclave? Yes. Been here many times. The Rando Army leader, Lord Teuton, aren't you? Our outside informants have told me much about you. Alright, you seem like a man I can trust. Mondo Sasuke, accompany Lord Teuton and help him in this fight. You could got, have gotten Sasuke if you recruited Valeria or uh, Kasumi much earlier. But you'd have to come back and recruit Mondo. This way you get both of them at the same time, but you get them late. So there's two more characters. We get to Rando. Head to Pseudo Castle immediately. Two-Tone Highland is strong, but I sense the power of a heart that will not give up within you. Word. Oh, hot puppy with a bandana on. Alright. So, trade shop. And you had better buy my gold bars. It's downstairs. This is where they do trading. Man, they're not giving me enough profit. Jeez. <sighs> Crap, man. They're giving me less profit than if I sold them at Chrome. Um. I guess this is the only chance we got, though. Oh. 113, 344. I don't think that that's going to actually get us to... I think we have to make a profit of 50,000. Not just sell something for 50,000. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, there's a lot of characters here that give you stuff too. We gotta talk to everybody. Rating downstairs... There's at least a couple of people that give you stuff. Here, I'll give this to you. Make sure you use it wisely. Sounds it. Surely you could use a young, healthy piglet. Sell you one for 3,000 potch. Sure, I'll take a pig. Thanks, buddy. Uh, blip. Hi. Yes, I know it's a secret home of the ninja. It's not a secret now. Oh, hey, that guy was hanging upside down up there. What up, dude? Besides you. I think that's it. All right. We'll go to Greg Minster. I'm sure Gordon is going to say that we haven't made enough yet, but we will go and ask anyway. And if not, there is a few more places that we can act, or a few more places we can buy trade items and make a profit, including Kobold Village and Forest Village. There's a little trade route there, and that might be the way we have to do it. But this is certainly nice right here, not having any encounters. Thank you, Luke. That makes this walk a little bit more bearable. So, how's everybody doing? <laughs> I hope you're doing alright. I am not alright. Well, I'm alright. I just know that two days from now I have to have a wisdom tooth pulled. Because <laughs> it's got a crack in it. And I am not ready to deal with that pain. So they're just going to yank it. <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs> alright, Gordon. Give me some good news, bud. Just make, just make it... Just tell me it's fine. Tell me everything's fine, you're gonna join me. 
Yeah, 16,660 left to make. Dang it. Okay, well, there's gotta be something that I can buy from here, right? That would sell for a crap ton somewhere else. Flower painting. I just don't wanna, I don't want to, uh, accidentally buy something that's not gonna sell well. That's my problem. 16,000 left to make. Let's get out of Rakaku, and I guess we're gonna go freaking or out of Gregminster, I guess we're gonna go freaking find someplace else to... Hang on a minute. Let me take a picture of the list of trade items real quick. Technology's wonderful. I don't have to use a notebook anymore. I can just take a picture of what sells well here and maybe buy it for cheap somewhere else. Let's take a look. None of this crap. And... Virgin Land Flower Painting Celadon Urn. I guess Ancient Text and Pearl would be okay. Alright. So we're getting out of here. Gordon, we will be back. I might be able to make enough by selling you stuff. We'll see. But for now... Have to take a long walk back. Again, it's a long walk, but ain't no freaking uh, ain't no freaking encounter, so it's cool. No biggie. I feel like I should go back to Rakako and look at their list of trade items again, real quick. Just in case something there sells well to Gregminster. I doubt it since they're in the same like, area. Is this the right? Could have sworn that was where I go. Oh no, it's the one right before the save point screen. Got it. It's here. Oh my gosh, Tony. Really? It's right here, isn't it? I'm losing my mind. I could have sworn. Hmm. Hmm. Aha. Wait. Ha. There we go. <laughs> Getting lost in these dang trees, dude. <laughs> All right. Now we'll take a look at Rakaku's trade items again. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. Yes, I know I was just here. Don't give me that look. Hmm. Japanese dish. Deer antler. Sold for a lot somewhere else, right? That wasn't something that sold well in Gregminster, but... Let me buy all three of these, because I have a feeling I'll make a pretty good profit. I'm not scared to spend 7000 But if I don't make a profit off of it, that means it didn't actually help me one bit. So I need to find a place that deer antlers are... Uh, ...desired. Shouldn't be a big problem. I could swear that somewhere over on the dune inside is uh, craving some antlers. So this is the big fat trading episode. We're in a trade. We're going to try and make the money to get Gordon. And when we get Gordon, we're going to run around and get all the rest of the 108 stars of destiny right now. Because I remember where all of them are. The only pain in the butt is Gordon. Really. Alright, here we are. 
I think we check Forest Village for the deer antlers and see if they want them. And we can check Forest Village's uh, list of stuff. And it might be some stuff that Gordon wants. Took a picture of his trade list, so we'll know what sells well. Forest Village, let's go. some deer antlers <laughs> I'd be out money that sucks oh ancient text how much was Gordon paying for ancient text I feel like a lot 29 and these are 23 not worth it I don't have celadon urn or flower painting here crystal balls Cobalt Village is good, right? There's only one. Buy one. If you buy, I think if you buy ancient texts from Cobalt Village, you can sell them here. If Cobalt Village's economy is back up, I don't know what the hell was going on with it. Where it was, they were totally out of stock of everything, and they all sold for zero. I don't know how that happened. I don't think I've ever seen it happen before, but. Hopefully, their economy is back up and running. Shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cheap ass ancient texts. So we'll sell them one crystal ball. That gets us 6,000. That brings us down to 10,000 needed. We'll buy one ancient text, and we can sell that to Forest Village. Okay. So we just made six grand. So that makes it so... Yeah, we need 10 grand more. I don't know if that's going to be this... Uh, if that's as much of a profit from this. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I think it might be. What are they paying? Twenty three thousand for them or something up here? We just bought one for like four hundred. Yeah, we definitely made enough of a profit now. Cool. Rock and roll, dude. What else did Gordon have? Just just to hedge our bets a little bit. Native costume he was paying 1000 for, so that's about the same. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Come here, controller. Uh, let's see, wine, 437, 762, or uh, 917 here. Red pepper, 1000. Let's see, sugar, no. Salt, no. Fur, no. Native costume. Yeah, what about the same on native costumes? Books. Books sell really well. We've we've made our yeah, we made our profit, dude. I'm not gonna take a chance on like buying something that's gonna put me in the hole. I think we can go get Gordon now. It only took the whole first half of the episode, you know. <laughs> Alright. We're run back to Gregminster. Everybody, this is our last trip back to frickin' Gregminster. Let's get excited. We don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> He's the last character we need from uh, from the, uh, the Torrin side. We've got Suzuki and Mondo. We got Vincent. We need to go get a character from the Cave of the Wind. Uh, Mazus from the um, from the caves, like the mines next to Tinto. I do believe that's everyone. We'll have to. I'll have to check my tablet real quick when we get back to the to the camp because there should be or to the castle. There should be two left to get after this one. 
after Gordon. Unless I missed somebody. I don't think so. If I miss somebody, I have no idea who it would be. Gordon is the only one that usually takes this long to get. Nope, nope, not Rikaku. Already got those characters. Again, it is pretty dang nice not getting encounters thanks to Luke's Champions Rune, but that also means that Luke isn't getting the levels he needs <laughs> to be up to par with us, but that's okay. He sh we should get in some encounters later on that are that's going to definitely push him over the edge. So yeah, we made a profit of like 18,000 and 6,000 since we talked to him before and it was like 16,000 is all we had to make. So he should be ready for us. If he's not, I'm going to have questions. Yeah, I need to go see a dirty trader. Thanks, Varkas. The day has finally come. You're damn straight. You have incredible business sense. It's time for me to leave this shop to my son. Coats. Yes, father. I'm going with Lord Two-Tone. I leave Gordon's Merchantile to you, my son. Don't disgrace the family name. Of course, father. Leave it to me. Finally, we got Gordon. <laughs> so now we can walk all the way back to Banner Village. As per usual, let's go over here to the rune shop real quick because the rare finds here are usually pretty good. It's either a Mother Earth or a flowing, right? It could be something else, too. Now, there is a trick that if you go back here and uh, examine the shelf and then go talk to them again, that the rare finds can open up. Nope, didn't work out this time. That's okay. How is our freaking armor situation? That's a good question. Is there anything here we want to buy? Oh my goodness, we could use a lot of this, actually. Um, well, Lorelei can equip dragon armor. There we go. Magic robe for... Yeah, we need to upgrade... Oh, wait, we can take the master robe off of Vicky. We don't need that. Um, we can put a magic robe on Kappa. Instead of the karate uniform, that's fine. Half helmet on or Y, probably pretty good. All right. Did they have rare finds open? No, I think I checked. That's right. All right. Now we can get out of Great Minster, or we can walk back in the armor shop. Sorry for drop my wallet. See ya. <laughs> Alright, we are gone from here forever. So we need to get back to Pseudo Castle. We need to check our Tablet of Destiny and make sure that there are only two characters left for me to get, I do believe. Shouldn't be any more than two. I'll figure out really fast if I'm forgetting someone if there's more than two slots. Mm. Once we do that, our recruitment drive's over once we get the last two characters. I do believe that it's only the two that are left, but I could be wrong. That'd be great if uh, Luke's Champion's Rune helps us out through the mines, too. Because that's a long walk to get to Mazes. I'm almost certain it'll work for the Cave of Wind. Because everything there is so low level. Ah, 
we bid these ladders farewell, finally. Never again. I did not check the characters that we got and whether or not they joined at level 99 so far, but we will check that when we get to the rando, because, um, did that thing just land on me? I guess it did. Um, we'll check that when we get to the rando, because we'll have to put them on our team anyway. Yeah. Get me out of here, dude. Won't have to come back to Manor Village for anything either. Alright. Tablet of Stars. One. Two. Yep, only two, and I know exactly where they are. So let's go finish up our recruitment drive, everybody. Mickey, teleport me to the Tinto Mines. We will see if Luke's rune holds out. We should probably go up here and save at an inn real quick. Freaking rune works here. Oh, yeah, this should be open now, right? Because we've been through here once? No, of course not. We haven't gotten attacked yet. Hooray. We could be getting lucky or it could be Luke's rune. We will find out shortly. Probably. chest. Oh, dancing in flames. Like we needed that. Yeah, I think the rune is putting in work. That could be a bad thing if we don't get to level Luke any. Because we can't take the champion's rune off of him. Remember, he was randoed with it. That's again the rules, dude. Do I have an escape talisman with me? Yes, that'll be nice once we actually get mazes. Oh, hey, we finally got attacked. Get Manami. Oh yeah, well Kaba's useless against these things. We're gonna get hit. Nice shield, Nina. Well, Luke will definitely get some EXP off of this. Holy crap. So much damage. He's got a way to go until he gets to our level, though. I guess that's the only, uh enemy in here that is higher level than Luke, then? Something like that? Yeah, Unicombies seem to attack us and nothing else so far. <laughs> They're also dead. Luke gets a freaking level every time we fight one, right now. We gotta make sure we don't mess up going down the uh, ice slide. Otherwise
realize it's point of no return and we gotta go all the way back through to get back to where Mazes was. Oh goodness. Stop getting stuck on cave walls there, Two-Tone. You old butthole, you. I might go on the right way. <laughs> okay. Unicorn zombies attacking me now. Whole army of them. That's fine. We fought armies before of monsters. Remember the blade bunnies? <laughs> or the dark rabbits? <laughs> That's nothing new for us. Oh my. Um. Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was my fault. <laughs> ding dang stumbling at the finish line as is usual for me oh my gosh I mean Luke needs the levels so whatever but stop I just want to get my character and get out of here Luke at level 41 is just as good as, as being at our level basically I'm coming, Mazus, you old coot. Hi. Hmm. Rando army. I hear that my arch rival Crowley is out in the world. Maybe the time has come. More than anything else, I'd like a place to test a place to test my abilities. Okay, Tutun, the great sorcerer Mazus will be your ally. You should be thankful. Yeah. Mazus is not half as cool as Crowley was in the first game, but he is cool. First, let's get some practice. Kia! Alright. Cape Talisman. Okay, so the hardest part is over. That is not a very fun dungeon to just have to run through. But now we gotta go get our last character. And to a lot of people, this is one of their favorite characters in Sakodan history. I like him too, but... He's not my favorite. A lot of people really, really like this character, though. <laughs> I mean, for good reason. But still. Now, the Champion's Rune should work all the way through here, because there is, like, no... freaking. There's no enemies that are our level. In this place. And if they are, we'll myrtleize them. You guys sick of forests and caves yet? <laughs> this is the Great Forests and Cave Adventure episode. And trading. And finishing off getting all the Stars of Destiny. This might actually be a pretty short episode, because... Next episode... I'll be real, I'm avoiding the next episode. I'm gonna do it, obviously. We gotta finish the dang game, but... Rock X. Matilda is a terrible place. It's the worst place in the game. Easily the worst. And you'll know why when we get there. Why are these caves so long? <laughs> Get out of my way, rock.
Yes, we have to do this whole thing again. Just to get across to where we have to be. And we don't have to do all four of these rocks. We can do three. Because we don't need to get into that top spot. We just need to get into the second one. Oh, it got us to the top spot anyway, didn't it? Kia, there we go. I still smell con in this place, dude. Guys, stink lingers. Yeah, if you remember, this is where we fought the uh, Star Dragon Sword. Now, it's where a good buddy of ours will be waiting. You're only able to recruit once you have, like, 105 stars of destiny. We could have recruited him a little sooner, but I usually just save him for last. Not here either. Uber, you bastard. But he must be close. Yeah, he's looking for Uber. Who are you? The Rando Army. I see, so you must be too tempted. Um, would you join us? Let me think. My true goal is to find Uber. But while I'm searching, I think I can help you. Okay, I'll do it. Esmerja, join the group. So would you like my help right away? Yeah, let's see if you're uh, level 99. I understand. You are! Damn, we don't even get to use Pesmerja! He's level 99! Why did that happen? Why does this keep happening? Oh, we have no choice but to put him on our party right now. That's alright. We're not gonna, like, actually get into a fight anyway. But yeah, Pes is pretty badass. He was in the first game as well. He has not resurfaced as a character since this game in the series of five games but he is a classic character that a lot of people really really like he's got a counter rune and rage rune he's very very strong um and he's strong without being level 99 but he's level 99 for whatever freaking reason and you can't unequip anything off him except for his bolt of wrath <laughs> so all right so that concludes our recruitment drive. This entire tablet should be filled. Yep, every single person in here. All 108 stars of destiny. So, now that that's over with, I'm going to go check on our Richmond investigation. I'm going to save, I'm going to pee, and we're going to cook. Thirty-two! Wow. That's crazy, she's almost my age now. Rear guard. She can guard my rear anytime she wants. Alright, Leona. Let's figure out more about you. Pee, yeah? Upstairs to save. And I'll be right back. All right, let's cook. Let's check our box. Did we get any more? Oh my goodness, we got so much. Young people these days don't know how to take care of themselves, only taking a bath once a day. <laughs> Tetsu. <laughs> you and your baths, dude. Considering how much people use my elevator, you would think I could get a thank you once in a while, don't you agree? Yeah, people are rude. I still get letters from girls in trouble. If you're my leader now, I'll pass them on to you. Please look after them. Oh, Alon, yeah, sure. Bogan liked Two-Tone, but Eile, she loves Two-Tone. <laughs> yes, I, I am aware. All right. Let's get over to the kitchen. Fury, no, 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 no. I let you back in the room. That doesn't mean that you're free to do what you please. <laughs> I know you see it that way, but it ain't the truth. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's just a scene that happens. Uh huh. -huh. Suddenly, we don't have any recipes. Oh, we don't get to cook. I don't think we chase anybody. we chase that guy, right? That's just something that happened. Yeah, no. I was gonna say. I know that uh, that just stole all of our recipes. That scene. But I don't know what we do after that. Oh, I guess we're not cooking then. Well, because that we need to wait for uh, the next scene to happen after that, huh? Well, that's some old bunk. All right, well, I guess we'll run around the castle real quick and uh, drop off some of our items we've got for folks. This is kind of a boring episode. That's okay. You're not jumping up here, dude. All right, we got piglet, lamb. Need to drop those. Got books, window sets, sound sets. Oh, we gotta do the plans, too. Okay, so you can get certain things based on which uh, plans you give to Jude. I don't remember what you get from all of them. However, I think we have a full set. Oh, my. Shit's full. All right. Full plate. <laughs> plans, plans, plans. We'll see once we try to give them to them. But if we don't have a full set, we'll just throw something together. See what we get. He wants to make a guardian deity for us. Let's see, we don't have any heads. That's a problem, we have to have a head to do it. So we got turtle rabbit, dragon unicorn rabbit, dragon unicorn. Okay, so we need to get a head plan, so we can't do that yet. Uh, window sets, we gotta go up to the roof for Tenkal. I think he's up there, right? Oh, the hanging garden, I think he's there along with Connell. Oh yeah, check out our new freaking digs, man. Place is killer. 3F, right? Tengao. Change window. Let's have this window. I like that one, and we'll change the color, too. What color do we want it? That color. Cool. So now we've got a whole new window. Neat. Thanks, buddy. I've got... Let's see, an old book and a sound set. Well, let's give him the sound set. We're not even going to check it out, but I'm going to give it to him. Alright. I got that out. We've got an old book. Mukumuku isn't here. Okay, so let's take the elevator all the way down. Oh, thank you, Adlai. I remember you said that you're upset that no one thanks you when they use the elevator. I just did, because I'm a good person. All right, let's this way, right? Yeah, this will take us. Oh, yeah, look, there's more ducks. He all. Oh. All right, need to give this book to Amelia. Watch, the chances are, I bet this book is trading routes and trading sequence or uh, like secrets, and I don't need it now.
Nope. Antique list. Word. Oh yeah, where's the gold hammer? I forget. Oh yeah, I remember where it is. Never mind. I remember where it is, but we can't get it yet. That's a little ways off. That reminds me, we got a butt ton of money. I could go and get our weapons up to par here while I'm running around. I gotta stop in the bathhouse anyway, because I got graffiti. And I gotta stop by here to identify my um, ornaments. Hex dolls? Chinese dish. Ooh, I could have sold that for money too. And there's a hex doll. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that's not an exit. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, dip into the armory. Or to the uh, blacksmith. Nami. Oh yeah, we still have Pest Merger on the team. We need to get rid of that. Eden Rod. Go up to 15 because of the Silver Hammer, but not 16. Uh, should I bring Wakaba up? Yeah, let's go, Wakaba. We're gonna run out of money quick, but that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna stop there because I want to save the rest of my money for the uh, rock climbing game, I think. Go jump in the bath. This is where we'll drop our stuff. We can remodel it to jungle bath now too, but I think I like the marble bath the best. Place an item. Graffiti. Bang. Place an item. Hex doll. Bang. The only the girls get the good stuff, like the Chinese dish. <laughs> there we go. We're out of here. That drops off all my crap, right? And then I got some hamnels to go give to Yuzu. And that empties my inventory. And then we'll go back to the storehouse and sell everything we don't need. Move, kid. <laughs> Jeez. Here, use. All right, cool. Gave her some stuff. So we have no items. Yes, that is exactly what I was hoping for. Now we can go to our storehouse, put items in our inventory that we want. I guess I'll bump Pest Merger on the, off the team real quick and get uh, Wakaba back. Sorry with your level 99 ass. <clears throat> Alright, storehouse. Let's get out what we want to get out. Yeah. We want these. And we want to sell medicine, dancing flames, bolt of wrath, full helmet, full plate, hang gosh, iron boots, silver lit, thunder amulet, magic ring, one firefly. We can't sell our deer, deer antlers because it's. <laughs> can we discard deer antlers? We can. There we go. Stone of Power on Wakaba. Strength 2 increase. Nice. Magic on Luke. Defense. Orlai. She needs that. Magic defense. Uh, Wakaba. Skill. Wakaba. Ooh, her technique went up. And luck on me. There we go. 
And now we should go to the item shop, fill up on Mega Medicines, because that's really what we need in our inventory. You don't need much else. What's up, Alex? Three, four, five, six. No lap time, dude. Come on, you just clawed the crap out of me, man. Alright. So we got some Mega Medicines. We got pretty much nothing else to do. I guess since we've uh, wasted time running around here, I can go up and save, and then we can go and try and see if we can cook now. I doubt it, but maybe. I don't think enough time has passed. But we might be pleasantly surprised. Lady? I'm telling you to move. <laughs> I'm just gonna move you. She's just like, are you, are you serious right now? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we get to cook. This day has finally come. I knew it would happen, but I wasn't really prepared. Disgusted to think a rat like you is also one of the four great lords. But why, Gakarin? You're also one of the four great lords, you should know the moon recipe is no. Of course I know, and Lord Jinkai perhaps knows as well. Then why? Silence, that's enough. It's time for the cook-off. That's all we have left. Uh, er, do your best. I have terrible news. The recipe, it's been stolen. What, what do you mean? The Grand Wazoo of the Black Dragon Group has arrived. Face me in the kitchen. You stole our recipes, you sneak. Yeah, all of our recipes are gone. We can only use what Hayo knows from memory. Which means all the default stuff. Winger, Sid, he 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 he. Fish lover. Birdo. Okay, these are quite obviously hard people to please. Hi yo, I'm counting on you, bro. We don't have anything except for the recipes that were given to us by uh, our friends that we defeated. So let's go, tomato soup. We do raw tomato for an appetizer? Let's do a tomato salad. Oh man, we don't have the Berg! We don't have the J-Bomb! We got ramen. Red Hot Ramen. Soy sauce ramen. I guess you're gonna have to be the J bomb replacement and pudding. All right, let's go. Stole all our recipes. I didn't even have fried fish balls for Marlowe. Cook with all of your might. Chop, 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 chop. Right. I think we might have to lose this one. No, maybe not. They did not like your thing. Maybe they'll like my tomato salad. Ooh, we did get some good scores. Except Sid. I don't think Sid likes anything. Two 
3333. That's pretty good. Ramen, please. Okay, we're keeping even here. Depends on dessert. Clam mayonnaise for dessert? You got ones in there. Pudding's gotta win, right? Come on, pudding. You gotta pull weight for the J-bomb being missing. I think we won. Yeah, by 10. Get wrecked, Yachrin. It's what you get for cheating. Jikai's dragon plan has failed. Why couldn't I defeat Hayo? He didn't even have the recipes. Our techniques were identical, but even so, you're wrong, Yakarin. Cooking is about more than just technique. It's about the heart! I told you! First, I came here just so I could hide from you, but after I started cooking for these nice people, I realized something. I realized that I could help these brave folk by serving them good food, that I could ease their burdens just a little bit. Cooking isn't about technique, it's about caring and giving. That's why I don't need a recipe to be a great chef. Right. I forgot the first and most important lesson about cooking, something a chef must always remember. Where are you going? Now that I've lost, I can no longer go back to the group. I'll wander these lands alone and examine my defeat. Perhaps I will once again discover the joy of cooking that I felt when I was young. Here, Hayo, take back the recipe. Also this, think of me when you use it, once we were good friends. Tonkatsu! Yeah! So we won. Let's, let's figure out, let's get cultural here. What is Tonkatsu? Let's learn something today. Tonkatsu is a Japanese dish that consists of a breaded, deep-fried tempura pork cutlet. Ooh! It involves cutting the pig's back center into two to three centimeter thick slices, coating them with panko, frying them in oil, and serving with tonkatsu sauce, rice, and veggie salad. Mmm! I would eat the crap out of that! <laughs> Alright, so, that's the recipe that we got from Gyakuren. Must be her specialty. Okay, so, after running back and forth between here and Banner Village a butt-ton, uh, that's the end of this episode, guys, because next episode we're, uh, we're going into the, uh, quote-unquote, last strategy, better last battle here, because we get, um, this is where we get our reward if we got all 108 stars, which we got this episode, finally, we made it. And, uh, you'll see what the reward is at the beginning of next episode, and... That's gonna be gonna be a good episode, guys. I I promise. Peace.